Um, hi everyone, my name is Sam. Um, I am a special education major with an early childhood minor. Um, when I think about preschool through third grade, I honestly, I, I don't think of a lot of discipline, classroom management strategies. Um, I was trying to think about that all day. Um, timeouts, I think. I know they would call parents a lot. Um, I remember a few times in third grade, we had to write about what we did wrong and why we got in trouble and what we could do about it. So having like little prompts like that. Um, but when, yeah, not a lot stick out. I don't, I also cared so much about what my parents, or excuse me, all my parents and my teachers thought that I really tried to avoid the whole classroom discipline thing as much as I could. Um, but when I think about classroom management and discipline techniques and what I've learned being at Central and just working in schools and working at a daycare is it's a like a theory, I think. I don't know if I should use that word. But it's this whole brand, I guess you could say, of conscious discipline. And they're very like, you do everything with a purpose and it makes sense why you are disciplining the kid. I think they're trying to re-establish that word. Um, like a f couple strategies is giving your kids five different ways to breathe and relax themselves. And so there's one that's like blowing up a balloon. Um, I think making a star and something else. Um, and there's a couple ones of just like rephrasing what you say as a teacher. Like, I see that you have a lot of energy. Let's go on a walk or jump around rather than saying, please stop what you're doing. I don't like it. Um, so just more positive language, but still changing behaviors and helping the kid identify what is happening inside them. Like, they might not realize they have a lot of energy, so the teacher acknowledging it. Um, so I think those are all like skill set based. They're all longevity based, which is what discipline should be. A lot of teachers think they just want instant gratification of the kid listening to them and being quiet, which of course, who doesn't want that? But their big picture is let's give them a skill set so they know how to have self-control or... Um, have a healthy relationship with maybe authority or whatever. Um, my past teachers and their classroom management, the only thing I think they worked with me is because I cared so deeply about what they thought of me and how they thought of me as a student and a person that I never wanted to mess up. So I really didn't get in trouble. I mean, sometimes I would talk too much. Um, and I remember them just saying, uh, be quiet. But I cared so greatly about what they thought of me that I really tried to adhere to all their rules and expectations. So, I mean, reflecting on that, I think having a strong relationship with them is very effective. Not in like unhealthy, like I'm your boss, listen to everything I say, but like a friendship and them knowing that you care about them and vice versa, things like that. I think that's powerful with any kind of classroom management technique.